Alright guys, so before I start this video, if you want to book an appointment with me directly and talk about your course or uh, admission process or visa process or documentation, anything, first link in the description is the link which you can use to book the appointment and I'll show up directly. Alright guys, welcome back once again. If you're new to my channel, my name is Niklesh. I'm at the moment here at Stralsun Hubbana. This train is taking us to Rostock Hubbana. You know, one good thing I like about German trains is they have toilets on the board. So, yeah. Alright, so we are finally reached here at Rostock main station. People who live in Berlin, for us, uh, the very hot spot, this place called us Warnemünde. This is a very, very, very uh, famous tourist spot. Uh, when it's sunny during summertime, it's the place to be. Uh, most times it's cold here. So, yeah, this is summer times are the times where everybody is going to be out. Make sure that you stay today till the end. We have a lot to cover today. And yeah, first stuff. So the taxi stand right here as soon as you come out. That's what Hauptbahnhof looks like. Alright, so uh, I have a friend who's joining us on this trip. Uh, on the tour, not a trip. Um, do you want to introduce yourself to my audience? Uh, yeah, hello. Uh, I'm basically from Karnataka, India. Uh, so I finished my bachelor's uh, from uh, PS College of Engineering. It is affiliated to uh, Vishweshwara Technological University, uh, Belgium, India. So I've come here. Uh, actually, I started my studies uh, in uh, summer 2020, uh, but due to you know the Corona pandemic, we had to wait until September to reach Germany. So right. it's basically just some seven, eight months I'm in Germany. That's it. Right, right. What did you study, bachelor's? I studied uh, mechanical engineering in my bachelor's. And yeah. how much did you score there? Uh, my score was uh, 8.89 GPA, the final, yeah. Okay, okay. And you're studying Masters in? Uh, masters in Computational Science and Engineering and Mechanical Specialization. Got it, got it. If they're flying for the first time, yeah. what flight route would you suggest them to take to get to Rostock? So I had taken this uh, direct flight from Bangalore to Frankfurt, yeah. That's the one I used. And then but from the, Frankfurt? Frankfurt, uh, I've taken uh, DB uh, from until Rostock. Oh, there was an IC train? Yeah, IC from How Frankfurt long did it to take Rostock. You? Uh, it takes about uh, seven hours, eight hours journey. Would you not suggest people to come from Berlin then in that case? Uh, Berlin, yeah. Uh, availability of flights directly to Berlin is... Uh, ah, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. right. So we have so many flights right. until Frankfurt. That's true, that's true. Yeah. Uh, technically, uh, the frequency of flights coming to Frankfurt is very, very high. And uh, from Frankfurt, you'll have to probably then fly to Berlin and then from there take another train, which is the shortest route. However, I think this is more convenient, yeah. I guess, than in that yeah. case. Uh, where are we going from here on now? Uh, first, we'll be going to Neuermarkt, uh, where, uh, where is our uh, city's center. And we have another administrative building there, uh, which is one of the oldest buildings in Rostock uh, that uh, represents our university. Got it. So these are local buses here. So from here, uh, we're taking a tram and then we'll get uh, to the city center. So this is the Hauptbahnhof and uh, this is where the engineering department is, right? You said? What are departments are there? Informatic department, mechatronic, um, mechanical engineering and shipbuilding department, modeling and simulation chair. Is there. It's right here. What is it? Name of the uh, stop? Tram what stop? is the name of the tram stop? Uh, Erich Schlesinger Strasse. Getting down? Uh, we, we are getting down at uh, Noya Markt. Noya Markt. Yeah, so that is the city center of Rostock. And that's where we have our, our house. Okay. Okay. 
Wow, so beautiful. And uh, behind is the rock house. All right, so uh, we just got down at this uh, Neumark tram stop, and uh, this is where rock house is. All right, so uh, after getting down here at Neumark, it's a very important place, not just as a city center, but also for you as a student. So you get two things done here. One is you get your city registration done right here in this office. This is where the route house is. And opposite to this office, uh, this building right here, this is where you get your uh, visa extension done. Tell us quickly why city registration document is important. Yeah, the city registration document is the primary document that you have to take when you just land in uh, Germany. And uh, yeah, that is very important to open your bank account so that you can get your blocked, um, blocked amount money wherever you have opened it. And uh, and then it is also important to extend your visa. So when you go to go for a visa extension, they'll ask you for your city registration document. So right. yeah, cool. that uh, route house. I'm just gonna take you guys and show you where is the entrance for the foreigners office where you get your visa extension done very important point um, when you enter this country you will enter germany with a short-term visa which will be only for six months and if your if your studies are of two years then you have to come to this office do city registration take all the other documents and come to this office so that they can extend your visa uh, based on the amount of months or years left for your study uh, where is the entrance for the visa office the entrance. Oh, this is the entrance right yeah, here. This is the entrance and on the second floor. Yeah. Extension. On second floor. On the second floor, yeah. So this is a place where you enter this building, go to the second floor. Where are we going next? Uh, we are going to our uh, uh, university building and uh, this street. It's the busiest street in okay. Rostock. Yeah. Which uh, bank account do you have? Local bank account? Uh, yeah, here? I have opened uh, in Spaka, sir. Spaka. You have options in it's all over, like uh, Deutsche Bank okay. or uh, Commerce Bank. Okay. Yeah. Which bank account do you I have? I am using in uh, Sparka. Sir. Sparka. 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 Commerce yeah. Bank. Yeah. Okay. And what SIM card do you guys use? Uh, we are all using Winsim. 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 Yeah. Where do you source this? Is it online? It is yeah, online. online. You have to just book and you have to give your address. Uh -huh. So they send you in your post box. I see. It's quite convenient. Cool. Today there is like a farmer's market here. Um, I'm pretty sure this is not every day, right? <laughs> yeah, it's not every day. Yeah. But we will get all fresh vegetables. Fresh vegetables straight from the farms, actually. And costly too. <laughs> and of course, it's because it's organic, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, it's yeah. all bio. It's all bio. <laughs> yeah. So, quick question for three of you: What is the cost of living? Are you having for a month? Around five hundred. Five hundred. Yeah. Around five hundred. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Same not for more than five hundred. Yeah. Yeah, five hundred is uh, you can live a comfortable life. Yeah. Comfortable life. Comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Can you give me the breakdown? How much would you spend for accommodation? Uh, yeah, generally the dormitory costs, the rent costs uh, vary from around two thirty euros until two eighty. Two eighty is the maximum that we have seen. Okay. And then uh, your insurance costs about uh, hundred and ten euros, up to hundred and ten euros. And groceries uh, for a month we almost spend hundred hundred and twenty euros is the maximum. I see. Yeah. Yeah. So up uh, about uh, four hundred fifty euros is the money that we spend monthly yeah and I by see. working part time we can get those 450 euros yeah, yeah we can recover the money oh you guys are doing part time already yeah, yeah. yeah. wow man <laughs> oh that synchronized yes <laughs> all three of you <laughs> yeah that's that's okay. a good part right <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah where where are you working KFC. I am working in KFC. KFC, all KFC. All KFC. We are all are working in KFC. <laughs> from one guy we got all reference and like okay. everyone okay. are there now. Where are we going from here? Yes. Uh, we are going to the in front of our university's class. oldest building. Oh yeah. cool. Okay. Yeah. That is the main building. See the center. All the famous shop here. In this all the the yeah. street shopping street? Yeah, it's shopping street. Yeah. Okay, cool. So before we go, uh, so that's where we got down. That's the route house. That's where the foreign office is and this is the square. And from here, we are just entering this street. What is the street known as? Kroplinger Strass. Huh? Kroplinger Strass. Uh, this is the University Platz, actually the place we are, where yeah. we are going to. Okay. So, if you are in Rostock, you have to be on this street. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. so I made it. Yeah, 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 yeah. you okay. made it. When I come here, on third day, I have to come here to buying some jackets winter and jacket. for winter items. Ah, okay. So it's mandatory to come here. Right. Uh, there is a Vodafone office right there. And there is a O2 showroom right here. If you want to buy a SIM card, uh, carry all your documents. It's right here, O2. So we have almost reached this uh, very important university building, the red one. I'm going to go a bit closer. 
Hey, what are the some of the famous uh, uh, dormitories here where students are staying? Max, uh, yeah, the huh? Max Planck. Max Planck. Max Planck. Max Planck Street uh, houses five dormitories, so it has the maximum capacity, as I believe. I see. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, there are uh, two dormitories in Al Albert Einstein Strasse, mm -hmm. and uh, one in Erich Schlesinger Strasse, mm -hmm. and another two, I think, in Mjolnir Strasse. That's far away from the city center. Generally, people prefer to live in the Max Planck, Erich Schlesinger, and Albert Einstein I because see. it's quite near to our departments yeah. and it's cover most of our university area. We are very right. near to our uh, lecture halls if you are attending physical classes. Yeah. Right. Look at this. Wow. University. What, what, what? In the home page of university, you can see this fountain and this building. Ah, the, of course, the university building, yeah? yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> All right, so uh, from that fountain, we just came this side and right behind me. Uh, this is where the university administration building is. Can one of you come here and explain me what is this building about? This building is uh, the oldest building, uh, uh -huh. which belongs to the University of Rostock, uh -huh. uh, which was almost founded in uh, 1410 like that, in, uh, so closer here to that. So, and uh, this is the seat of the rector. Oh, this the is where the uh, rector sits? Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, there's no classrooms here. No, none of these. No. Just the administration, the administration. main building yeah, of the university. Wow, okay. okay. Nice. Are you guys paying tuition fees here? Yeah. yeah. Mm, this, How much? No, this is tuition free. We are paying for the semester ticket. Semester ticket. Ah. That ah, semester. costs us yeah. 207 euros as, as of now. Okay, okay. Yeah. And that's like 200 what? 207 euros. So 207 multiplied by 4 semesters yeah. is what you're paying. Yeah. Unless you don't extend your semester. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> and that does include your. Uh, transportation ticket also. Yeah, also included. Okay, okay. If we don't want to take the tram, we can minus yeah, it by some 120 euros. Oh, nice. Yeah, okay. you can skip the transportation cost and use you can the just tram, then they will give different ID. I see. Okay. Yeah. So, this is a place one has to get down to go to the university uh, campus for, for if you are studying engineering. Yeah, engineering, uh, the department of uh, mechanical engineering and shipbuilding is here, over here. So, this is a stop we have to get down. And most of the dormitories cover through this stop. Oh. So, we can uh, go to each of these Albert Einstein, Eric Schlesinger and Max Planck. They are very near to this stop. Okay. From this student and work, uh, right opposite to this, this is where the entrance is. Uh, and uh, just have a look at the map. At the moment, we are right here. We're going to go here inside and go all the way here. Starting from building number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then 15 here. So we're going to go here and take a right, which is we're going to go here and take, go inside here. Are we already at building number 1? Yeah. Okay. Here you have labs for the electrical department, as well as there are like lecture halls for you know, uh, some professors take lectures here. Ex for example, in our department, uh, we have two subjects uh, for mathematics. So we have lectures over here in this building. Apart from that, we have so many labs and you know, offices of, of many professors. So we walked in from there and then we came here in front of building number one. Where is building number two? This is building number two. So that's building number two. Ah, yeah, there are entrances right there and then right there so in the beginning you told uh, about the max plank what? max plank strasse yeah max plank strasse yeah, five dormitory. dormitories in total yeah right so this is building number one and guess what it's like right here those five buildings there five buildings here yeah? yeah it has five dormitories yeah just wow. in line yeah okay so there is one here and there was one on the opposite, yeah, opposite side, side where yeah. we entered from right? yeah that's Eric Schlesinger. wow okay yeah, these are the two, uh, there are actually three dormitories around here which are very near to the campus, to this okay. campus. Okay. These are mechanical labs, what I've been told. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So right now we're in front of this building. What, what do you do here? Uh, so, these, this building is the administrative building for the faculty of uh, Schiffstechnik. So, the all the professors have their offices over here, the 
chairperson of molding and simulation uh, our department he has an office over here sometimes he conducts classes in this building can you so just explain yeah. where we started from and where are we right now so we have started from here and we visited the first building and then we have seen the administrative build i mean we walked like this through the mechanical labs and then we've just visited the administrative building and then now we are here where there's the grosser whole sal which is number 6 uh, number 6 yeah. and number 6 is right in front of us it's massive actually there are so, some more buildings student, there student club hota hai yahan pe andar andar yeah okay the next to this club look at this wow and there were those are the labs which we showed you from yeah. the other side this one what is that wind canal it's a wind canal ah, there huh. you have the wind canal okay. you can of course go inside so we just came out of this uh, campus now we are heading this way all right so from that campus we just walk for literally 5 minutes and uh, this is where this is where chemistry department is right here and from hofu is getting uh, constructed right here it's not ready yet there is a lot of construction going on front offer is one of the most prestigious in uh, research institution in this country people are like sitting outside and eating the meal and then there is this library entrance this is the main library of the university of rostock yes sir okay i mean there are few other libraries but this is the main one yeah, yeah, okay. oh the mensa yeah. you enter from here okay and then library is right here Is this whole library? Yeah. Wow. So big. I showed you the library. This is the back side of the library. That's where cafeteria is. We kept walking straight from there and now we are taking a bus from here. I'm going to show you the building, the office where you're supposed to come on first day and get yourself enrolled as a student here in the University of Rostock. We are not going to cover Uni Clinicum, which is of course part of the university as well. because of a uh, shortage of time but uh, yes they also have a big hospital there you on uh, you on this uh, clinicum suite is pretty big yeah yeah okay. just behind this stop okay library menza and then lot of physics department and then the whole campus which we showed was like on the street so this is the s bahn for uh, parkstrasse it's right here this is where the administration building is we just getting down here somewhere there like this so we are at park strasa yeah yeah this one is right there yeah uh, this is here oh there is one the train station is here there was a tram stop right there okay where do we go we'll go to ulma strasa campus So what is building number six? It's basically Ligand Shafton building. This is the one, yeah. Yeah, this is the one. We just entered from this yeah. area. Yeah. Just to give you an idea, this is the map. Uh, at the moment, we are right here, and uh, this is a uh, building number six. And then uh, uh, five, four, five, four there, and then three, three. The big one is this one right here, and then two is right there. one is behind this so we'll quickly walk them through yeah. all of these areas yeah this building is like sports hall but actually maybe they convert now it's into a mensa because it's written in lines mensa and 
this is the auditorium which we're going to yeah. show you from the front so this is where sports hall slash menza for now ends and this is building number four right here this is a very important building uh, house number three yeah. right yeah uh, there's a lot of faculties inside yeah. and classrooms right yeah Can you this building and that building is the main in this campus so three and one, one. that's like a very big uh, building yeah th that building is all uh, for uh, language classes um, different language french spanish english german how the building number one you mean building number one yeah you know. <laughs> So you entered from there, uh, that's where we showed you Menza and then building number 3 is right here and then house number 1 is right here, the building number 1 is right here and there is one auditorium here and there is a classroom here, right? This one is auditorium and this will be classes. Okay. So this is the auditorium I was talking about. Have you had classes here? There's a classroom here. And uh, we, we once have an exam here because they have a big In hall. auditorium? Yeah. Okay. Actually, mm, it, it was, I guess, a renewal energy exam. Mm -hmm. So the, the strength of the ex uh, exam was too much. Maybe around 80 or something people were there. So that's why they, they book auditorium for us. So where are we right now? This is basically the administration building. It's the first building here in University of Rostock you need to visit as you want to enroll here uh, the enrollment process process will be held inside we also have a student office there so in any inquiry regarding student certificate whatever you have you can come here and you can you can go and ask them they also have a, a office for document whatever legal document from university rostock will be available there so if you miss or uh, if if the university rostock didn't find your uh, address so the document will become here and you can you can collect it from here so it's basically the administration and all documentation will be here the tram stop what i showed you in the beginning you know this is the same line which will bring you here at this building <laughs> 